My name is Maria Gesick, and I consider myself an introvert. The basic definition for what an introvert is, is somebody who is energized by being alone and whose energy is drained when they are around other people. After just starting reading Quiet by Susan Cain, I found a paragraph that seemed to describe me perfectly. They prefer to devote their social energies to close friends, colleagues, and family. They listen more than they talk, think before they speak, and often feel as if they express themselves better in writing than in conversation. They tend to dislike conflict. Many have a horror of small talk but enjoy deep discussions. Kane, page 11. I tend to enjoy spending my time within a group of people I know very well. My friends and family are who I feel most comfortable with. When I am in a group of people that I don't know very well, I tend to become very quiet. I tend to listen more than I talk. This is especially true when I am in class. I prefer to listen to what everyone else is saying rather than speaking for myself. And this is not because I don't know the answer, it's just because I feel more comfortable listening than talking out. I definitely think before I speak, I like to say what I'm going to say in my head before I say it out loud in front of everyone else. And I don't do this all the time, I just tend to do it mostly when I am speaking in front of a bunch of people in public or in class for a speech or a presentation. I'm better at expressing myself in writing than I am in conversation. I feel like I can really think about what I'm going to say before I say it when I'm writing it. If I am saying it in a conversation, I get very flustered and I can't think of what I'm going to say as thoroughly as I would be in writing, which is why I typically prefer to be writing my answer rather than speaking it out loud. I dislike conflict. I prefer to stay away from arguments and debates as much as possible. I find it very difficult fighting with somebody, so what I do is I try to fix it before it turns into an actual conflict. I would rather be in a deep discussion than have small talk with somebody. I don't really like to initiate conversation, which is why small talk is so difficult for me. Uh, in small talk I tend to give short answers and they just make me overall feel very uncomfortable. I chose to become a communications major a few years before I actually went to college, and the reason I chose my major is because I enjoy making movies. But there is a huge social piece involved with majoring in communications that is why I find it challenging. Communications as a major is a challenge to me in some ways because it puts me out of my comfort zone as an introvert. For example, I took a journalism class last semester and it was difficult for me because of the interviewing portion of the class. It was difficult for me to reach out to someone I've never known before and have a lengthy conversation with them. However, after it was done, I felt much better and it was an accomplishment for me. It made me realize that even though it is a challenge, it is something that I can overcome and I can still succeed. Even though there are some classes that are harder for me to take than others, the, the difficult ones help me to strive and do things that I normally wouldn't do. I chose my concentration of film and new media because it is not only something that I love to do, but also somewhere where I feel comfortable doing my work. When I am making a film, I like to do it by myself in a calm environment. I'd like to really concentrate, so I usually will be at the computer without my phone or anybody else around me. I can work with other people, but this is an area where I really enjoy doing the work by myself. My goal is to find a career where I am able to work in a way that I feel most comfortable and also that is still challenging to me. Since most of my work is better when it is shown through
through either film or writing, I would hope to find a job where that where it is presented through that rather than my public speaking or presenting. In Quiet, there's an excerpt about Laura, who is a Wall Street lawyer and also an introvert. And after reading the section on her, I felt I could relate to her almost exactly. She somehow managed to make it through Harvard Law School, but when it came down to her first big case, she, being an introvert, held her back at first. The feeling of all eyes being on you and the pressure on you can feel so scary in the beginning that it can almost keep you from trying altogether. Laura promised herself she only had to make it through the day. Tomorrow she would go look for another career. Kane, page 8. This is something that I find myself doing when I get under a lot of pressure and it helps me to get through the situation. I usually tell myself it'll be over soon and you'll never have to see these people again just so I can get through the worst of it. But, and it happens with Laura that it, after the scary beginning, the truth hits you. Then she remembered what I told her again and again. She was an introvert, and as such she had unique powers in negotiation, perhaps less obvious but no less formidable. She'd probably prepared more than everyone else. She had a quiet but firm speaking style. She rarely spoke without thinking. Being mild-mannered, she could take strong, even aggressive positions while coming across as perfectly reasonable. Kane, page 8. Like Laura, it hits me that I know the information, I know what I'm doing, and it gives me the boost of confidence I need to break through the initial nervousness that I usually feel, which is based on the fact that I am an introvert. I think this book was chosen for class because when you find out whether you're an introvert, extrovert, or amnivert, it helps you to feel more comfortable in your own skin. Probably the most common and damaging misunderstanding about personality type is that introverts are antisocial and extroverts are prosocial. But as we've seen, neither formulation is correct. Introverts and extroverts are differently social. Kane, page 226. After reading this book, I realized that it's okay to spend more time alone than in the crowded room with people. Also, that the way I work may be different than somebody else's way, but it doesn't mean that their way is better. Also, this book helped me to become more accepting and understanding of someone else's way of acting and communicating.